look at letter of inquiry. The letter of inquiry is the most common business letter because inquiry means ask a question. So an inquiry letter is asking a question and asking questions are something we do in business all the time. Especially if you're trying to get a new customer, trying to get some kind of information for a new product or service, or just trying to get some relationship started with a company or a department inside another company. So letters of inquiry basically mean letters of a question. It's sending a question. So let's just jump right into it and see what do we do in a letter of inquiry. First of all, a letter of inquiry generally follows the format of four paragraphs. And that is each paragraph will have a specific goal that it's trying to achieve. You want to make sure that your letter of inquiry is as clear as possible. One thing that people often get confused about is they ask a question and they think, well, maybe I should write a lot and try to make things sound interesting and attractive. But in reality, the best thing is to get right to the question as soon as you can and to kind of save time. Now, let's look at how we do that by looking first at paragraph number one. So the first paragraph of a letter of inquiry, very straightforward, it's to reference. What does reference in this case mean? It means, how do I know you? How do I know who you are? Where have I seen you from before? Where did we meet before? How do we know each other? So this is a way at the very beginning to say, I know you. It's kind of to make a connection. Now maybe I really know you, I met you before, so I can say something like, we met previously at the Taipei Computer Conference. That's very clear. I can say, we met on May 5th at the Taipei Computer Conference. Even more clear, clearer. So that's really helpful. I may not really know you, so I can say something like, I know about you, or I know about your company, or I've heard of your company. So these are ways to say, how do I know something about you? And when I read the letter, I feel, hmm, you already know something about me, so I should read more of the letter. So that's paragraph number one. In your QBL online, there are examples for each paragraph, so look at those carefully. But here, let me just quickly bring up a few points to this example. Last week, July 20. So it's really nice to give a date Give a little date. How did you, when did you know about this person? And here's a journal or magazine or newspaper article. I read about you or I read about your company. Here's an example here. Recently, I met one of your employees. And then here's the name, Mr. Gates. And we met on this day in October. That's a really clear and excellent way to get the letter started. So paragraph one is short. And it's a reference. How do I know the receiver? How do I know you? Okay, let's move on to paragraph number two. In paragraph number two, this is your chance to introduce who are you, right? Why are you important to send this letter? So let's take a look at an example here. Introduce the writer of the letter. You want to give a good impression, but you want to only write about important things because you don't want to waste time. So you don't want to say things like, I'm famous or I'm wonderful. You want to say things like, what's your business? What's the business you do? What's the, what's the importance of your business? What's your product line? Things like this. So let's look at some examples of paragraph number two. Here you can see this person says, I'm a farmer. So he's telling the receiver, I'm a consumer and I use farming equipment. I used this equipment before, so I want to get some more information about this equipment. So it's very, very clear. It helps the reader understand that you already know something. In another example here, we can see that this person introduces their company. This is a business to business letter and they say, we are a distributor and we are working in southern China. So this is introducing the person who wrote the letter. Remember this is the sender. This is the person who sent the letter. Who am I? Why should you read my letter? Why am I someone you should pay attention to? 
but you don't want to waste too much time get right to the point uh, two or three sentences is more than enough now let's move on to paragraph number three and what do we do in paragraph number three this is where you ask your questions very straightforward questions the key is this to this paragraph is specific you must stay specific what does specific mean stay very very clear and don't write too much ask the question clearly it may be helpful for you to break the question into small pieces one two three or a b c this kind of thing can be helpful so here are some ideas that you could follow for example we're often asking about price quotations this is very normal and here are some examples again your QBL will have many examples for you so here we have an example of a question and this person here was a consumer and he just asked straight out about this product and he's very clear please send me pricing information finance information term information warranties and specifications this is wonderful really good this is exactly what I want they don't say ah, just send me something anything is okay but they're very very specific about what it is desired to have in the answer Here's an example of business to business, so B to B. In this case, we're interested in beginning some negotiations. So they want to have a business to business negotiation, a buyer seller relationship. So we want to learn more about your product lines and if you would like to sell in this market. And we'd like to get some more information about your marketing and your pricing strategies. So that's very good, very clear. So you can see that the question section can be short and clear. Nice and uh, easy to understand, I think, is the key point. Now let's go to the last paragraph, the fourth paragraph. In the fourth paragraph, you're going to basically come to a conclusion. And, of course, you want to thank the reader for reading this. Thank you for your time, for example. But you also want to be very clear about the response. So, I like to use this word here, time frame. Time frame means when do you expect them to respond? When do you expect to get an answer? Time frame. It's like a window frame, right? What is this time in here that I would like to get an answer? If it's later than that, it's too late, right? So that's called the time frame. Here's an example. And this was the consumer to business. So they begin with thank you. That's very nice. That's very formal. And here it's very clear. Please respond before October. The business to business example here is asking for a fax or an email before August 20. Before August 20. So in this case, it's also very clear about what their expectation is. So that's the time frame.